YouTubers, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And for those who are new to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. So anyway, in this video, I'm going to share how to make your own USB power cord for your CD player or a portable CD player. All you need to have is a DC plug, a USB plug, and a cell phone adapter. And I have here my CD player. This is a portable CD player. And this is 4.5 volts. But in this video, I'm using 5 volts because USB source, power source is 5 volts. So anyway, the 4.5, if you use 5 volts, it is safe. And 5 volts, you can use also in a 6 volts CD or a portable CD player. But 6 volts, if you have a 6 volts adapter, don't use in 4.5. It's too high for the 4.5, but the 5 volts is safe for a 4.5 volts. And a 6 volts, it has a 0.5 difference in voltage, but still the 5 volts can be used in a 6 volts CD player. That's my own observation, my own experience in using a CD player. And now, let's get started. Let's check first the polarity of my CD player. So this is the polarity. I have here my drawing. Center pin is positive, negative, outer diameter of the pin. So this is my plug. It means that this part here is the negative and the center inside this hole is the positive. I'm going to make a one meter power cord and this is my cord and it has a black stripe I will make the black stripe negative let's check the pins of this USB plug so how to determine about this one guys you can google this one anytime but in this video I will pretend that I don't know the pins so since we have this project and this is only a power supply this is my technique how to determine the pins of this USB plug since we only need the power source 5 volts and we don't need the data source so let's check I'm going to plug this one this is my technique if you don't have a Google then you can use this technique or you don't have a data sheet of this USB plug just be careful with the pins don't short the pins. It can cause damage to your adapter. Set your multi-tester to 10 volts. So my 10 volts is this one. Lower part. So let's check. Let's find the 5 volts. This one is 1.9 volts. Near 2 volts. This one is 2.30 or something. This one. This is... 4.8 or 4.9 so this is the 5 volts this is the positive and this is the negative 5 volts so I'm going to make a marking so I can determine the positive so this is my positive pin This is now my connection. My black stripe is negative and the pure gray color of the wire is positive and this is the marking. So I'm going to seal this one. Okay. 
this is now my USB plug so I'm going to use this one I'm going to recycle this plug So this is now the finished project guys and I seal this one sorry this is not really a perfect seal but at least I salvage this one and reuse or recycle the plug so here it is now let's double check the output voltage So I'm going to insert this soldering lid because my test probe is very big to insert. So this is the negative and this is the positive. There. It has my 5 volts more or less 4.9, 4.8 volts. And now I'm going to plug this one guys in my portable CD player. Now let's test this unit. I'm going to plug this one. This is the connection. No other connection and also no battery. At the same time, no backup battery inside this unit. It's now reading. Let's wait. There. It is working. I'm going to unplug this one. Let's see if the power or this display turn off. There. No more power. So I'm going to plug this one. And I'm going to plug my powered speakers. Then play. going to unplug no power I'm going to plug again play I'm going to unplug this one Play. and that's all guys about this video how to make DC plug DC plug going to USB plug and hope this video helps and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more and more interesting videos to come thanks for watching guys